Today, I'll help you fix this site can't provide a secure connection error. There can be many different reasons for this error, but I'll show you the three main fixes that work for 99% people. First, let's try the easiest fixes that we can do. So, let's go to our Windows search bar, search for control panel, and then choose internet options. Then go to the content tab, click on the clear SSL state button, and then click OK. Now come back, refresh it, and see if that fixed the error. If the error is still there, then there is one more fix that we can try. So in your Chrome browser, go to the top right corner and open the menu. Select More Tools and click on Clear Browser Data. Make sure all the categories are selected and then clear it. Next, in your Settings, go to Extensions, then disable all your extensions. Check if the error is still there. It did work. Okay, let's now try a slightly tougher fix. So go to your address bar and type this. Then find the experimental QIC protocol option from the drop down menu. Change this to disabled. After that, we can restart Chrome and try to access the website. So is the error gone? If not, then don't worry, this is very normal. Our next set of fixes will definitely work for you. If you have an antivirus or firewall installed, they might be causing this error. So to fix it, open your control panel, then navigate to the systems and security, then click on Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we can see the option to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. This leads us to a window where we can disable your firewall for both private and public networks. So turn it off then check if the error is gone. If the error disappeared, then update to the latest version of the antivirus or just look for alternatives. There's a chance that your site might have been hacked, but don't worry, we'll use a free malware scanner to check whether this has happened. Okay, the best one is Malcare. As you can see in this comparison table, I've added a lot of details here because my team built this, but I am not being biased. These are the facts, which is why this is the best free malware scanner. Now in this tab, I have the Malcare website open. As you can see, it is used by eBay and a bunch of other known brands. But now I'm going to go to the pricing page. Here I can see that there is a free plan available which has quite a lot of features. There's a real-time firewall to protect your website, login protection, a daily malware scan to catch any hacks, vulnerability monitoring, uptime monitoring, and a few other things. So this is a great place to start off, but if you want to be really sure that you're completely secure and protected, then I would recommend getting the basic plan because now you have instant malware removal as well. So this is great if your site ever gets hacked, you can instantly remove the hack and then prevent any damage occurring to your site after that. For now, I think we'll start off with the free plan and I'll show you how to install that. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, add new, let's search for Malcare. And here it is. You can see it's got a lot of downloads as well. We're going to install it, activate it. We'll go to a separate tab and go to the Malcare website. Now here we'll sign up by adding our email ID and password. And then we'll log into the dashboard. Now we just have to add the site URL. Now we need to add a WP admin username and password. Don't worry, Malga doesn't store the WP admin credentials. This is a standard procedure to just install the plugin on your website. Click submit. Now the plugin installation is happening and you'll see the option to initiate a sync. So click on that. And now you can see that your website is being scanned. Basically, Malcare is going through all your website's code to find any vulnerability, hacks, backdoors, basically any security concerns so that it can bring it to your notice. So right now you can see that your website is clean and the protection has been enabled and you can scroll across this dashboard and discover more features. In case you have trouble installing Malcare, just email this ID and you'll get quick help with any issues. Okay, I have one final fix that often works if nothing else has helped you so far. An incorrect date, time, or time zone format can be causing this error in your computer. So, go to Windows Search, open the main settings, choose the time and language section, and go to date and time. Enable the options set time automatically and set time zone automatically. If they turned off, check if the date and time are correct then try to refresh the website you're trying to access. Okay, if none of this has worked for you, then the issue is in your SSL certificate itself. It might have expired, or you might have taken one from a cheaper source and it's not working properly anymore. Since most people get an SSL certificate when they're buying their web hosting, you can contact their customer support. Or if you bought it separately, then reach out to that company. 
Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll get back to you. Also, here's another video I thought you should watch.